Gotta keep my favorite song on repeat. Big things back in the BP. You know, you know, you know how to reach me. Hit me on that message on we feed. Ricky, 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 are you rolling? Hey, honey bees. It's your host who does the most of the queen bee, honey. We are back with another video. If you are new to this channel, I need you to pause this video and subscribe to your girl channel because I know you don't want to miss out. I know you don't. I know you don't. All right, let's get into this video. Now, this video should hopefully be a little, you know, a little sweet to the point video. Okay, guys? Okay, so we've been, we've been getting to it. Today's topic on the Honey Show is pros and cons of getting your nipples pierced. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna tell you guys when I got my nipples pierced. I got my nipples pierced in September of 2018. Like the 16th, <laughs> the 16th of September is when I got my nipples pierced. And it's been one heck of a journey, y'all. It's been one heck of a journey. The pro of getting your nipples pierced is it's hot. It's hot, y'all. It, it look good. You be thinking that you cute. You be thinking that you cute. It's cute. At the end of the day, it's cute. That's mostly what piercings are for, for cuteness. It's not really a reason, you know? Anyway, so cons. Now, this list is a little bit longer than the pros. So con is it takes about three months usually for your nipples to heal. So and for some people it takes longer. Like you know that you're a type of person that heals like slower, then it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. But it takes roughly about three months. And by healing, I mean like so say if you snag it on something or whatever, it won't bleed like after the three months, you know. So in the beginning of three months, you snag on something, it's gonna bleed, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, y'all. And I'm gonna get into my experience and I'm gonna get into what you need as well for your nipples. The con is you can go swimming for about six months to a year. Like I said, it depends on your healing process, it depends on how you heal and stuff. But it's about I'm me personally, I might just wait a year just to be safe because you know, you know it's your boobies. You don't wanna you like I said, I'm gonna be on the safe side and I am going to go swimming in probably a year or like eight months. You know, just I'm just gonna wait it out because the next con is no booby sucking. Now, if you are under if you ain't sexually active, we're just gonna get straight to it. If you're not sexually active, then you don't even need to worry about what this is, okay? But there's no booby sucking. If you are sexually active, you are, you know, is can't get can't get the girl sucked on. Sorry, y'all. At least for about one month to two months. Yeah, like one month to two months, you need to just wait it out, like just to be safe and stuff like that. Cause by that the third month of the healing is like basically healed up. It's just you know taking all the whatever it needs to get healed. <laughs> okay, all right. Con is. Okay, this kind, this might throw y'all off the wagon, but like I said, it's it's hot, y'all. It's cute. You gonna like it, I promise you. I promise. Especially like if you, I personally love my booby size, but like if you have like smaller boobies too, and it's cute, like you know, it's just cute. It's like this booger. We just gonna say booger because that's basically what it look like. It's like this little like booger type of thing. It's mainly when you get out the shower. It's not like oh my god, my thing, my thing is just leaking, fucking. Booger. Or sometimes it's like white, like you know. It's usually white and like clear, like I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, you can feel free to comment down below. Let people know what it is that comes out of our boobies when you get your nipples pierced. But yeah, and like I said, it's. It's easy. It's not like oh my gosh, like outrageous. It doesn't continuously happen. It's just like when you get in the shower, it usually happens. And then after you get out the shower, you have to clean them, of course. And it's not. Don't think like oh my god, like it's gonna continuously leak or like it's heck of big or you know it's not. It's just it's just this little. It's just small, like on each side of the whole. You know, the whole, the whole. So the last con is it. You can get like 
not a keloid. I don't know if you, some of you guys don't know what a keloid is, but it's kind of like a black. It sometimes happens on your ears and stuff like that. Black, it can be like a bug or something. But in the sense, is what it is. I don't know if it's from like the material from clothes, might be from sweating. Like, but it only happens, it, it can go away. Let me just tell you that. It can go away if you like, you could put AD, A and D ointment on it. You could put the water and salt, you know, your silky booby in. So now I'm going to tell you guys about how it felt when I got my boobies pierced. So like, I feel like I'm more of a piercing person. I'd rather get piercings and tattoos. I'm just the type of person. The, per the person who pierced my nipples in like somewhere on here. Because she's a great piercer and she's always doing sales. Like, always doing deals. And she's like legit and like, you know. She she, she be hooking people up, y'all. She be hooking people up. Like, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to hopefully pop, pop a few bitches in here. But she did it fast it's it's a fast thing don't think about it don't be like oh my god hey, let me start from, let me start from the beginning let me tell y'all my experience so i went with my girlfriend and my friend dallas so they got their ears pierced and i wanted to get my nipples pierced so i got my nipples pierced and at first i was holding my girlfriend's hand y'all i had to let her hand go because that is it's just like 20 seconds of pain 20 seconds of pain because she just go boop 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 and then you know they put the they keep the needle in there then they just put the piercing boop shoo, boop and they're not like gentle shall i say they're just trying to get it over with so like not like they're saying like they're gonna hurt you or whatever but like they're not the gentlest people in the world okay so that's nothing to look out for so if you feel like you're super super sensitive do not do not get this and let me tell you why so after i got my nipple spirits i was excited y'all i was excited so then i seen another girl in the other room because the bathroom was in i guess like where that person's little setup was where she does her person with that so i had walked in there and girl was getting her nipple spirits and i was like oh my gosh like i just got my nipple spirits too i'm like it's like it hurt but like it's a quick pain or whatever and she got paranoid y'all she was she got one nipple pierce she was like no i can't do it you, you told me that and i'm scared and i'm like dang i was just excited i wasn't even thinking about it because i didn't think that people would really be like tripping and stuff but she was tripping y'all she was tripping so I was like okay anyway kept kept pushing kept it going so when i left out they didn't give me like anything to clean my boobies with and when i got my nose pierced i know that like sometimes you gotta like soak it clean it it's like it's tough to clean it and stuff like that but they didn't give me anything so i went back in and then i was like do you guys have anything to clean like my boobies with and they were like yeah so i'm gonna show you guys what they gave me okay 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 so they gave me some sea salt and this is the dead sea salt for like it's a piercing rinse so you get like little cups you know like with the cups that you put your like sea sauce in and stuff like that like ketchup if you're out going out to eat or whatever like they don't have packets they have like where you can pump it in but like yeah one of those little cups where you probably get your sauce and stuff in or if you could find something like just tiny where you could put like your whole areola in the cup but you just pour a little bit of this and then with some warm water put it on your nipple soak it for like two minutes two three minutes and then bam switch to our do both at the same time however you want to do it but that's what they say you should do so i went to sally's and this lady who was working there she was a piercer and i told her like oh i got my nipples pierced she was like oh i'm a piercer like you know i was a piercer like in another uh state or whatever and she had moved out here She's like, yeah, I was a person. And she told me, like, don't put anything like people might say, oh, tea tree oil and stuff like that. And it's because it's like stuff like that on it. Don't do that because that will affect your boobies. So she said, and not even, you shouldn't even really soak your boobies like often. If you are going to soak your boobies, you probably do it like every other day or like twice, two, three times a week. Not every day because I forgot exactly why, but that's what she told me. And then she told me to also get some dial some dial this is a uh, has antibacterial in it and this is also when i put out my hygiene video i'm gonna tell you guys why this is not good for you for your kitty cat but this has antibacterial in it and it's just told me like it you're also gonna need q-tips <laughs> get some q-tips so this is the i can't i opened it the wrong way so but this is a 750 pack of q-tips and i've been through one pack of q-tips already but that wasn't the 750 it was like the like probably like two like 100 200 that one i went through that one already 
so yeah it's to be on safe side you should get like two 750 or just one 750 because this i've been having this since i've been having that like since november and it is march now so yeah anyway so what you want to do with this is you wet the your q-tip wet it up and then you just rub it on there and you rub it on your boobies but what i personally did i just use this like on my boobies only like i just you know wash my boobies up with it in general because some soap but i wasn't using the soap that i use now i use dove uh, unscented because unscented and dove that's the perfect match health video coming soon i'm gonna tell you all that information but yeah so you can do it like i said you can get the swab put it on each side or you can just soap your body up with this do not use this on your kitty cat once again do not use this on your kitty cat but you could definitely use it on your boobies and these and then like i said after the shower like i mentioned earlier one of the cons was that it was the white stuff coming out so you just get a little q-tip and there's no limit that's why i go through them so fast because some days it might be more some days you might need to use three four q-tips or some days you might just need to use two q-tips because you know boop boop each side and might not be that much sometimes you might need to use six q-tips like it just depends on the day how you what you were doing what how you boobies feel i think it's just this is how you will be still. When one last thing is and the ointment. So you could put this because you wanna you do wanna put like oil on your boobies. If you got your nose pierced and you wonder why like it's really dry, like because you recently got it, or like I'd be like breaking on stuff like that. It's cause you need some type of oil. I didn't use A and D ointment on my nose. I've got like this oil at the shop that I got my nose pierced from. They gave me a specific oil to put on my nose, but this you put this on your boobies because it's good for it's, it's good it helps burns cut scrapes relieve chapped cracked skin so like you know it can get like chapped and cracked so it's good to put that right there and then it helps the healing process and stuff like that that's about it i don't know if you guys fully seen that but it's in the ointment but all right guys that's all i have to tell you guys about getting your nipples pierced i will see the honey gang the honey squad i'll see you guys again on wednesday all right y'all do not mind that i'm not wearing no necklace or nothing i just put this ring on right now on my ring no earrings no nothing don't mind that but i need you to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel okay okay bye guys